Hello friends, it's Tori from Body Rare Fitness and today we have a new thing coming. It's our first reformer workout and we are going to do a lower body slash inner thighs slash butt workout. So I hope you enjoy. If you don't have a reformer, that's okay. You can just work out with me in my studio. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to lay on your backs. Toes are going to be, oh, okay. Apparently I needed to change my weight. First thing, okay, we're on two reds and a blue. If you have a stot or balanced body reformer. So go ahead and find that. I added the white because I need more tension in my legs. Go ahead and lay back. So toes on, heels together. We're going to start with footwork in first position, pressing all the way out and lengthening, lengthening back in. So we really wanna make sure that your butt is firing and you are turning on the glutes before pressing away. So really making sure that your knees are also tracking over your toes. Okay, now we're gonna come to parallel position. Toes are active, actively wrapping around the bar. We're gonna keep those heels in the same position as much as possible. So you're gonna have to bend your ankles to accommodate the amount of bend that your knees are doing. Also check in with your neutral spine, making sure you have a little bit of a curve in the low back. Next, heels on the bar. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, press away from the bar and press. Inhale, bring it back in. Here, especially connecting your heels to your butt because we want that back body connection. Press, inhale, bring it in. Check in with your shoulder blades too. Make sure they're still flat against the mat behind you. And nothing should be poking you along your scapula. Keep going and let's go into second position. So heels on the bar. We are going to rotate the toes out and press away from the bar, turning on those glutes first thing. Stretch, inhale, bring it back in. Feel those inner thighs firing on the way up. Sorry, Apollo's screaming in the background. Oh goodness. Anyway, keep going. I think this is our last one. Yep, okay. Now toes are gonna go on the bar where the heels are. Keep the heels lifted and press it up. And in, press away. Beautiful. Keep rotating those knees out to the sides. Tucking in that rib cage, making sure that your bottom rib cage or your bottom ribs are touching the mat behind you. And still maintaining that neutral. Okay, go ahead and come on up. We are going to change the weight to two reds and a blue. So go ahead and find that or sorry, two reds and either a white or just two reds on its own. We're gonna lay on your side and your top leg is gonna go in parallel position up against the bar. Make sure that your knee stays in line with the second toes and that your knees don't pass the toes. I changed my mind about laying on your side, so go ahead and prop yourself up onto your elbow and find the most comfortable position for yourself on your own reformer. We wanna make sure that the rib cage stays lifted up and your abs are on so keeping your spine in as in alignment as much as possible Good, keep it up and all right lift that left leg out or that top leg up and we're going to lift for eight two and three four and five six seven eight now we're doing circles four three two and one other way around down and around two three and four good now go ahead and turn on over to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing there. So propping yourself up onto your elbow, putting your top foot in parallel position, pressing for a four and in and a three. Bring it in, connect the heel to the butt, three. And last one, perfect. Go ahead and turn the toes out for turned out position. Press, inhale and stretch. Nice, feel it in your side butt a little bit more. Last one, good, bring it back in. Extend that top leg out and we're lifting. Two and three, four, five, I might have done six. Now we're gonna do circles, so we go for a one and two and three and four, switch the way, other way, two and three and four. Okay, well apparently I did not count correctly. Anyway, go ahead and change your weight to one blue and one white, or one blue, one yellow. So go ahead and change your springs to that position. Knees are up against the shoulder rest, hands are on the railings of the carriage. You're gonna pull in for turtle. 
and release it. So it's just the knees pulling the carriage in. Keep your butt back and you're just bending from the hips. Your weight is in your hands, but your arms and shoulders aren't doing any of the pulling. It's all in the knees. Two inches of motion, so very, very small range. That way it's harder on the core. The smaller the motion, the harder it is. Sit back in a child's pose position and relax for a second. Okay, we are going to grab your platform. Or if your reformer is shorter, you can just have one foot on the ground. You're going to stand with your knees lined up. All the weight goes into your standing squat leg and your left knee or your moving knee is lifted off the carriage. We are doing our standing knee stretch. Two fingers on the bar or balance here. We don't want anything to change in the standing side. It's just that left leg pushing the carriage back. Still on the, the one white and one blue. So keep going here. We're not moving the pelvis at all. And then we're gonna turn out the toes and the knees to get a little bit deeper into your side butt. Good, keep going, press. This one burns and I was sore afterwards for a couple days, but it's so worth it. Keep going, press and in. Exhale, lengthen away and bring it back in. Perfect, okay. Now adding a red, taking off everything else. We're gonna scoot that standing leg forward. Knee stays down behind you now and we're gonna slide out with the carriage, straighten the front leg and bring the carriage all the way back up. Good, exhale as you slide and stretch, straightening the front leg, bend the front knee to come back up. Yes, we want your abs and your glutes to be on the whole time so that you can actively lengthen through that hip flexor, hip flexor, excuse me, hip flexor on the, le the left side for me. Okay, now we're gonna grab that platform, put it aside, we are gonna uh, uh, put it on the other side because we're gonna use it in a second. And we are going to grab your box. So go ahead and find that quickly. Okay, we're gonna put the edge of the box up against the shoulder rest or in line with the shoulder rest. We're gonna change your weight to one blue instead. I know there's a lot of setup for this one, but it's worth it, I promise. Okay, so. Just follow the position here. It's so hard to explain every time. It's just like a, a cluster when I try to explain it. Your hands go to the side and pull that knee in and the carriage will come underneath you. Try to keep that standing side as stable as possible and scoop the knee, the moving knee underneath. And we're gonna add an airplane. So exhale, press, an airplane banking. Exhale, other way, and center, and press to the side and center good release it we're gonna do, do a twisting motion Whew, it is so hard it really is go ahead and scoop that knee underneath hold it and twist and center exhale as you twist and center perfect all right we are going to release after this last set and release it perfect now go ahead and come on over to the other side we're gonna yeah did you like that one it's one of my Okay, go ahead and put that box on the other side so it's just ready for our next step. Okay, we're gonna stand on the other side, left foot on the mat, right foot up against the shoulder rest, knee is lifted off, knees line up, and kick that leg behind you, press, bring it back in. Good, stretch, and in, lengthening away. Perfect, press it out. Good. You're going to feel this burn, especially on that standing side, and it's going to feel even more on this side because your butt is already fatigued. Keep going here. Uh, and actually, no, don't keep going. Just turn out the toes and the knees. Now press it out and bring it in. Good. Bring it back in, keeping those hips as square to the front as possible. Light touch on the bar. Press. Inhale, bring it in. And lengthen away. Good. Out. And in, feel that zipping sensation in the abdominals. Now, changing your weight back to the one red. Take off everything else, scoop forward with your front leg. Okay, back knee stays down, slide and stretch it out. Beautiful, bend that knee to come back up. Good, slide and press all the way out and bring it back in. Perfect, trying to open up the front of the hips on that uh, leg that is behind you. Perfect, and bring it back up and in. Good, okay, now changing your weight back to one blue because we're gonna do our inner thigh pull. So go ahead and switch side for that Captain Morgan series. Okay, go ahead and find that position. We're gonna pull that knee right underneath you, scoop it in, and then release it. Inner thigh pulls, pull it in, and release. 
Good. Pull in and release, pulling that knee right underneath you and then adding the bank. Yes, the banking airplane. Press. Inhale, center. Lengthen up and over to the side. And center, last one, I think. Good, go ahead and release and pull it back in. I think I took like a 30 second break. Nope, just kidding. Okay, pull it in and add your rotation. And twist. Perfect. Make sure that your hips stay as stable as possible. It's just the upper back and the rib cage twisting. Your head will follow between your shoulders and release it. Nice job. Okay, we are going to come on top of the carriage and we're gonna change your weight to one red, one white. And we are gonna do our jackrabbit. So go ahead and lengthen out into a long spine. We're going to pull the knees in and stretch away. Good, in and press. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, stretch away. Good, keeping those heels, or sorry, the hips in the same position, just kind of bending the knees in and out. Always keep the shoulders behind the bar. Yes, I don't know how many I did here, but keep going. Okay, that was the last one. Yes, go ahead and relax for a second. Child's pose position. Okay, let's go ahead and change our configuration. So put the bar down all the way. We're gonna change your weight to one red, or you can do one blue, one white. It's just dependent on how much weight you want on your butt. I scooted my, I scooped my reformer in all the way to one one. If you have that capability and you can, yeah, I did one blue, one white. So go ahead and grab also your platform if you have one of those. If not, that's totally fine. Just stand side by side, um, one on the uh, stable wood part and then the other on the carriage. But we're gonna do our side butt standing. You're sliding the leg all the way out on the exhale and inhale, bring it back in. Good, press it out. Inhale, bring it in. And for this one, the challenge is to keep your hips facing front the whole time. Good, now stand, bend into your squat and plie while kicking that leg out. Good, stretch, inhale, bring it in. Exhale, press. Good, and now we're gonna add our squat to the center. Lift, bring it back up. Good, Slide, side splits. Bend to squat, lift it up, bring it in. Good, out, squat it back and lift bring it in out and squat lift it up and in okay nice as you can see that was a lot of work go ahead and flip around or turn around to the other side regular side splits abduction and bring it back in good stretch it out and bring it in yes as you can see that's where you're gonna feel the contraction the most yes sit into your squat and <laughs> kick that leg out Bring it back in and stretch, bring it in. All the weight goes on that standing side and you are pushing that carriage away from you. Good, and we're gonna add the um, side split with the squat. Yes, and lift, bring it back in, stretch it out. Sit into your squat, lift it back up and in. Beautiful, keep going. I had to take a lot of rest, <laughs> sorry. And lift, bring it back in. Last one from here, out. Bend and lift, bring it back in. All right, nice. Go ahead and relax there. We are gonna come off of the carriage just to change the weight to a lighter weight. Sometimes, depending on how much your inner thighs wanna fire, you can do just without the springs at all. I put a light spring just so, so I wouldn't fall over because I sometimes don't press myself, but that's okay. And scoop it in, good. You're gonna feel this in your inner thighs now as opposed to the side butt. Good, and press it out. Scoop it back in. Beautiful. And little pulses, yes, and scoop. Little tiny pulses, good. Okay, go ahead and spin around to do the other side. We're gonna keep that parallel position of our legs, slide out, and scoop it back underneath you. Beautiful, slide it out, and scoop it underneath. Perfect, out, and scoop and lengthen away. Good, and little pulses. You're gonna feel this even more in your pelvic floor, so really closing and lifting inside the pelvis here. Yeah, and we're done. I think that was the last thing. Yeah, good work, nice job. Thank you for working out with me. I will see you in our next video. Um, it'll probably be on the mat, but I'll do reformer as well. Love you.